Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. Amelia's hanging out with Abby, yep. and Popeye is at home because this is still that park that he's not allowed to be at, unfortunately. This would be such a good park for him. Anyway, for the RC sailors, welcome to our RC family. We're gonna have some fun today with a 118 scale uh, buggy. This is a team associated. First. First. First time having team associated on our channel. It's kind of windy out, so I'm just setting this stuff down. You can get it in black and white with different stickers. This has a 370 size brushed motor. It's running a six cell nickel metal hydride battery at 1100 milliamps, and it does come with its own little wall charger. It charged pretty quickly for me, considering it was nickel metal hydride. Comes with a couple little Allen wrenches, the small one you'll need to attach the little fin on the back, and then this tool uh, to adjust the little wheel nuts, and I did need to tighten those up. Also, I noticed that the pre-drilled holes back here for the mounting system on that, I had to also, I had to kind of drill it a little bit bigger because the screws were like machine screws. They weren't wood screws or something, so, um, I had to drill that a little bit bigger. A couple other tools in here. We have spacers for our oil-filled shocks in that little baggie. Comes with a very nice transmitter. I like that a lot. We get Reedy parts in here, so that's nice. You get actually name brand. Uh, it's a Reedy uh, steering servo and a Reedy ESC receiver combo. We'll show you that in just a second. Certificates of conformity. <laughs> I mean, this is as legit as you would ever want a 118th scale little buggy to be it's pretty crazy and then in here we have these awesome charts to show every look at this i've never seen charts that look so good it's really awesome like if you wanted to upgrade your parts anyway the point i'm trying to make is this is an actual name brand thing but you know it's, we've seen 118 scale andromeda we've seen wl toys 118 scale but today we're going to take a look at this and drive it around and have some fun these body clips are on here really well, so use a screwdriver or something to pop them off. And we picked this up from our local hobby store. Right. And at the to... time when we picked it up, you could buy it online. But now, I, I don't know if it's available anymore. But we were so excited to have a team associated little buggy on the channel, so we decided to do it anyways. And we just wanted to support our local hobby shop. I just dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> I see it. Okay, good. There you have it. All the goodies inside. I see it too. Yeah, independent oil-filled shocks, everything's fully proportional. I mean, I think if you wanted a 118th scale vehicle, this is about as good as it gets, you know, for a brushed nickel metal hydride setup. I mean, there are some really nice brushless things out there with WL toys and stuff, but uh, I'm just excited to have this name brand vehicle on the, on the channel, and I want to drive it, so that's what we're going to do. I forgot to take a closer look at the transmitter with you guys. It's a really nice setup. I, I like that there's no exposed antenna or anything. It is 2.4 gigahertz, of course. This is a nice rubber wheel. It's not foam. Rubber. Feel that, Abby. Neat. Um, <laughs> not used to having I that. I That's okay. <laughs> Underneath the panel we have, and it's kind of a hidden panel, you know, it looks pretty good and sleek. We've got all kinds of trims and dual rates, steering trim, throttle trim. Everything can be adjusted and reversed, so that's perfect. That's where the on-off switch is. Got a light indicator, four AA batteries. This does have an on-off switch too. So, let's drive. Normally Abby's our ground vehicle person, but I picked this out and uh, I wanted to support the guys, so. This is my little buggy. You know what it reminds me of? Just Actually, the, I picked this one out. Well, I said just I Just so you know, you had something we, different picked out. We, we had a little, <laughs> hey, there we go, look at that. That's pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I mean, I would expect this to drive well. And it does. It's on rails. I feel like I have good control over it. It is nice. nice. Okay, definitely you're gonna drive this though. I just gonna drive it first because look, I'm even like hit, hitting these curves pretty hard, not slowing down a whole lot, and it's not rolling or flipping or bouncing around. So the shocks and the wheels are doing really well together. Let's do a little bit of off roading here. Let's go, let's go right here in between there. Woo, now it's bouncy. Awesome. Oh, big <laughs> So it does have reverse too, but it's one of those where you have to push reverse, like it has brakes and then reverse. So you're driving, you're driving, you push brakes all the way out, release, and then reverse. Same with the throttle. It's not a bad little buggy. These would be fun if you had three or four of them driving around racing each other. That'd be a really, really good time at a track somewhere, or even just here, just bashing. It's really cool. 
I meant to bring the ramp today and I totally forgot. Also, it's four-wheel drive. I don't think I've mentioned that yet. Great little thing. Very, very durable, I've heard, through the grapevine. There we go, there's our first wreck. And it's your turn, Abby. Yay! <laughs> All right, go, go, go. It's quick, isn't it? Like, didn't think it would be that fast for a nickel metal. Yeah, it doesn't do really well with big gravel and off-roading. It definitely likes to be on a smoother surface. Nate said, don't drive in the gravel too much. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I mean, just because it's bigger gravel, it definitely doesn't do very good. But in it's fun. It, it is it funny. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody loves that WL Toys A959C or whatever the heck yeah. the numbers are. <laughs> but I remember, didn't we get gravel stuck in ours? We did. Mm -hmm. So that's why Plugged I kind of wanted to fast. do it in gravel. Drive it in the gravel just to see how it does. I do too. Kind of makes me want a bigger team associated vehicle now. Yeah. What do you guys think if if we were shopping for team associated? Leave it leave it in the comments below. I'd like to know what is one of maybe your favorite team associated <laughs> oh. things. Oh, my turn to drive. What? Okay, you can keep. keep. <laughs> See how it does in the grass. <clears throat> Pretty good. Yeah. That's low grass. Yeah, it is. Like that. It is. So. It's like it doesn't even slow it down. Right. Yeah. It's it's going along really well. Strong little oh, thing. God, oh yeah. Like all the way through. Oh, you got it. It's okay, off Oh. Oh, nice. Yeah. Let us know in the comments below. I definitely. Oh, you are really good at these like That's moving flips. Deal. Yeah. Let us know in the comments below. I let us know in the comments below. I <laughs> I'm just a good driver, mate. Best team associated vehicle out there that we should keep our eye on. Maybe we'll pick one up. I like That's this. That's nice. Yeah, it really is. Good control over it, isn't it? Just went through those leaves. Yeah. Powerful. Yes. Good. Good 118th CL vehicle. I'm I'm impressed. I was I was kind of prepared to say today that hey, this is like an overpriced, I you know. It is a little overpriced. It's a little steep. It's $130, but it's a name brand, and you know you're getting good quality, good spare part availability. As opposed to, <laughs> yeah, but that. this one I think they're slowly discontinuing, so I don't know how long. Maybe, really maybe. And this is what our shoes all about the donuts. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's what life is all about. <laughs> Office reference. <laughs> you should talk about our assumptions oh. video that we're gonna do. I think overall we really like that team associated buggy. Yeah, it's a little expensive, but you know you're getting a good name brand vehicle here with spare part availability and upgrades. Now, if you're interested, we'll try our best to find it and link it in the description box below, but we did get this at a local hobby shop. One final thing before we go, we asked you guys on our other social media platforms, but I wanna ask you on here too. Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> we asked you guys to leave your assumptions about the RC Sailors Us in the comments section and we will do a, an assumptions about the RC Sailors video. We know you guys are always, you, you assume things. You assume good and bad and everything and in between. So if you have an assumption about the RC Sailors, leave it in the comments below and we will do a video answering those assumptions. So at least the fun ones. <laughs> Probably within the next few days, you guys will see that video as just kind of a bonus video on our channel. If you're interested in the stuff you see in our videos, as always, we'll do our best to link it in the description box below. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.